What is up, guys? Adam from IamTheTrend.com with another episode of I Am The Trend TV. Um, tonight we have two clothing companies, as always. I can only fit two usually into uh, the YouTube time constraints. Um, two companies up tonight we have are Rad, uh, Rad Bear and uh, Imperial Clothing, uh, based over in the UK. Um, so without further ado, let's jump right into this, get to the good stuff. First one up, Rad Bear. There you go. That's their packaging that they sent in. Four P's of T's, packaging, price, presentation, and printing, as always. Um, so packaging, poly mailer, handwritten on uh, the label here. Not, not so good. I do like that they put their little sticker on the back to, uh, you know, kind of personalize a little bit. But uh, you can definitely print out your own labels. I've talked about this in other episodes of Vine the Trend TV. Um, just go to your local Office Max or Office Supply Store and um, buy some labels, print them up off your computer. If you run things through PayPal, I know not everyone does, but a majority of people do, um, you can print directly from PayPal. It's a very nice solid logo, or not logo, I'm sorry, solid label, and it just looks a lot more pro than uh, handwriting your stuff um, on said package. So let's crack it open so, and see what else is inside before we grade the overall package. So we got a couple Red Bear stickers. Uh, nothing crazy, no die cut or anything, just black and white rectangles. Um, it looks to be about it for packaging. So I'd say overall packaging is a C. Um, it's nice it's in a poly mailer. It's nice that it has their little sticker on the outside. It's a nice way to brand it on the cheap. But um, handwritten labels, not so good. So definitely something for those guys to look into. And uh, if you own a clothing line, um, just something that just doesn't look very professional, especially if you're trying to present yourself as a well-rounded and established business. So, more importantly though, we have the t-shirt, and this t-shirt is based off of the one, the only, Hulkster. Um, pretty funny design, obviously we're incorporating a bear who is said to be rad, and it's Radamania instead of Hulkamania across the, uh, the top here. Um, print looks pretty good. It feels good. Um, nothing too hard or scratchy or uh, uncomfortable. Everything looks cleanly done, so I'd say printing would be an A. Um, they do print on both Toltex and Anvil 980Ts. Um, this one is a Toltex. I think Toltex and Anvil 980s uh, are a good substitute for American Apparel for brands that are just starting out and uh, if you can't afford American Apparel or just looking for an overall substitute, I really think Toltex and Anvil do a nice job. Um, I prefer to lean towards Anvil 980s. I just think they fit a little bit, a little bit better. Um, they wash a little bit better. Toltex seems to, or seems to shrink up just a little bit when you uh, dry it. Um, if you're looking to minimize shrinking overall, obviously just hang dry and don't tumble dry. So that's the tea. Um, it's on sale for 12 bucks. I'm not actually sure if it's that is a sale per se. It doesn't say it is, but uh, most of their tees on the website are $12. So price, incredible. So that's a definite, definite A on price. Um, you know, I'm glad to see that they're going with Toltex and not trying to charge, you know, $25 a tee. Uh, you know, Toltex is a little bit of a cheaper brand and they're keeping their prices low. Um, this is obviously a one color screen print. Um, which isn't very costly, so $12 is more than fair um, for this sweet Radamania Rad Bear t-shirt. Um, you can check out Rad Bear at radbear.com. Um, they have about four or five different t-shirts on, on the site. I believe this comes in a, a few different colors, and um, if you're into Rad Bears or the Hulkster, definitely a sweet pickup. Um, overall presentation, I give it a B. Um, it's a, it's a little bit above average. I mean, it's, it's a funny concept. It's not being, uh, you know, earth shattering, um, but it's cool. You know, they're obviously playing on their name and uh, I'd like to see more, I guess, parodies with their bear um, to just kind of flush out their line. I think that would, would be pretty cool to see. So um, if you want to check these guys out, it's redbear.com. $12 tees. You can get tees pretty much on the cheap. Um, so go pick them up. Next up. Imperial Clothing. Uh, I mentioned earlier these guys are from the UK. So this is their mailer. They have a silver poly mailer. And uh, as I mentioned, printed label with their even with their logo on it. So that's nice. Nice touch. Much better than handwriting um, on the actual package itself. So let's see if they send us any other goodies before we grade that packaging. 
So I thought I saw something in there. Um, each t-shirt comes in a tea bag, poly bag, if you will. So that's cool. A little extra protection while shipping overseas. All good stuff. Overall uh, presentation, or I'm sorry, overall packaging. I'm going to go with a solid C+, plus, a little bit above average. Um, they took the time to uh, put the logo and a proper label on um, the envelope, which is nice. Everything comes in a t-shirt bag. This looks like a postcard. Um, the further the branding, and I believe talk about a sale. Let's see what it says here. Yeah, there's a 25% off discount. Um, oop, there we go. I'll get this figured out one of these days. I'm just confused by the camera. We do it backwards. Um, but this is cool. They added a 25% off discount at the bottom. This is a great way to send people back to your website. So they get something, hey, this is cool, I really enjoyed these teas, they're sweet. Oh, I get 25% off, Psh, might as well go back and buy some more. So a great way to get return customers. And uh, it actually tells a little bit about the brand, uh, which they're um, categorizing as an urban alternative lifestyle brand, which was established in 2008. So with that being said, let's check out the actual t-shirts themselves. They did send us two. Um, very crunchy. Aha, some sweet tissue paper inside. And this is t-shirt one of two. Something that I just noticed interesting on the inside, they have both a printed tag and the small woven tag. So uh, both worlds there, interesting approach. Let's check out the other one that I just dropped. And here is number two, one of two. So that's their second design. Same thing on um, these, this t-shirt as well. Screen printed tag, woven tag on the inside. Um, I guess that works, it's cool. Um, I like the real small woven tag. It's a different approach, different look. They also have this, uh, I'm not sure what kind of blanks that these are, honestly. Um, they feel a lot different than most blanks that I've, of, uh, received here um, so I can't tell you what the blank is they didn't tell me and uh, it's not on their website so um, it's a little bit heavier but it still feels very soft as far as printing goes um, it's not bad it's it's a little plasticky if if I can it's it's soft it's a soft print but it just feels very rubbery if you will, and I mean, it looks like it was printed nicely. It, it does feel soft. It just, it's just soft, but it's heavy. I don't know if that's coming across correctly. Um, it just looks like they use a, a different style of ink than what I've seen before. Um, it's just, like I said, it's softer than a lot of t-shirts that I've gotten, but it's heavy. So it's, it's a little bit strange. I'll have to talk to those guys and see exactly what their printing process is because it's definitely different. Uh, but everything's pretty clean. I'm going to give it a B. I particularly don't care for the way that feels. Um, even though it's softer, it just feels like almost like almost like vinyl on there. Um, but everything pops. The colors look nice. So that's cool. Definitely stands out. Um, the sweet Revolution Imperial Fist. Um, their t-shirts um, sell for roughly 18 pounds or 18 to 16 pounds which converts to around 28 to 25 US dollars. So I'm um, a little bit on the higher end if you're from the US and trying to buy something overseas. Um, and you're also you know, gonna get it caught, caught up with the international shipping. So um, might be tough for you know, customers in the US to grab onto these guys, but uh, based in the UK, you know, they fall right in the sweet spot. So I'm gonna give them another pricing of B. Um, overall presentation, I'm also gonna give these guys a, a B as well. You know it. Once again, solid designs, nothing that's completely blowing my mind or making me want to rush out and grab it. Um, I really can't give any constructive criticism on it because they're done well. It's just, there's so many clothing lines out there, honestly. And it's hard to, you know, with these designs to really differentiate yourself. I just, I just feel like they're, um, they're good, but they're not mind blowingly great. So, uh, could be for somebody, just not exactly for me. 
So overall, brand B, you know, a, a little bit above average. So there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, their website is imperialclothing.co.uk. It was their UK brand. Uh, like I mentioned, everything's around 28 bucks, and uh, nicely done. Um, like I said, you know, not not everyone's gonna love every style. There's nothing wrong with these per se. It's just uh, not exactly for me. And um, there they are one more time. I do like the purple color. Um, I am interested to see what their printing process is, is and uh, what blanks they print on because it's definitely a little bit different than what uh, the typical company sends in. So with that being said, um, make sure to check both these guys out, Radbear, radbear.com, and Imperial Clothing, imperialclothing.co.uk. Uh, Radbear tees are around 12 bucks. Imperial Clothing tees are around $28 US. So uh, make sure to check those guys out. Take a second and make sure to subscribe to this channel, I Am The Trend TV, um, which is youtube.com slash I Am The Trend TV. Um, which you're probably watching this on or on the on the trend.com homepage. Also follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash I'm the trend, facebook.com slash I'm the trend, and I am Adam from I am the trend. And till next time, stay shirty.